voltage, current, and resistance within a circuit. So what we're looking at is Ohm's law, which uses all three of these. Ohm said that voltage is found by multiplying the current with the resistance. Now let's talk about what, get an um, idea of what current, voltage, and resistance are. Voltage is where your power basically resides. It is the potential energy um, that is available for your system. It's kind of like a tank or a pool of water that is waiting to flow through the pipes, have the water flow through the pipes. But it's that amount of water that's going to push everything through the pipes and it's waiting there in that tank. That's what we call the potential essentially the voltage. Now the current is basically the speed of the electrons flowing through the wires or you can say it's the speed of the water that's flowing through the pipes. Resistance is what manages the flow of those electrons that are speeding through the pipes. You can slow those, you can slow those electrons down by using more resistors or you can speed those electrons up by using less resistors. So electron flow can be managed by the resistance or resistors that you're using. Okay, let's take three examples. In the first example, we have the battery uh, or the tank of water, but nothing's flowing. The reason why nothing is flowing is because the pipes aren't connected to go from the battery to come back. And so we call that an open circuit. Anytime you can't completely get back, your wires do not come back to the source of voltage as an open circuit. In the second one, you see that the, the pipes are all there and the water flows. That's called a closed circuit. Uh, sometimes we need to go to an open circuit sometimes, but I'll show you why. Now, resistance is anything that you put that will start slowing down that rate of water or the rate of electrons flowing through the system. So this guy is kind of slowing up the electrons. So that's the resistance. Now, let's look at this one. Okay, so again, the voltage is found by knowing two things. The speed at which the electrons are flowing through the pipes and, and the amount of resistors that you have, that multiplication will give you the um, voltage. Furthermore, the current and the resistance, the I and the R, they're in an the inverse relationship. That means that as one gets bigger, the other one gets smaller. As one gets smaller, the other gets bigger. Let's take a look at that. Here, we have 12 volts of water or electricity that's available in a battery and we find that we have six amps that it's moving through the um, wires six amps and we have a two ohm resistor well with that combination um you got to have six amps two ohms to match the 12 volts here now if you were to put more resistors increase their resistors let's say from two to six as we have here on the right side, the system on the right side, uh, you will get six ohms. You still have the 12 volts in the battery, but the amount of flow would slow down to about two amps. Okay, so let's start. Let's look at things with six, um, sorry, six ohms of resistance, or basically three resistors, and we know that the um, the current inside this little system here is going to be two amps. Now, how to measure resistance? 